We asked Dr. Steve Saltzman, what would you say to a patient that says, I don't like to sweat? I would say that's a big problem because if you don't, if you don't sweat, you really can't be healthy because as we talk about in here, your, your skin is the largest organ of elimination. And most people don't realize that we're all, unfortunately, we're all toxic. We live in a very unhealthy time and our body stores toxins just underneath our skin in the subcutaneous fat. And that is a, a brilliant design for those of us who do like to sweat because it's not, it, they're not deep in the tissues, they're stored just underneath the skin. And if we sweat a lot, we can rid ourselves of tremendous amounts of toxins. So somebody who doesn't like to sweat, I would say in this day and age, it, it's almost not po possible to be healthy and, and come from that vantage point. How does sweating in the 26 and 2 yoga class compare to sweating while you're running or cycling? It's a complicated question to answer because really the, the benefits that we get in here by really working our breathing and stretching our lungs and, and using the tourniquet effect to really wash in large amounts of oxygen through our body makes, makes us, um, sets us up for the ability to really cleanse our body more deeply than we might when we exercise and only use uh, large muscles in our arms or, or in our legs. So because it's a full body workout and, and you're working all the organs, you might, you could argue you're getting a, a deeper cleanse and a deeper sweat in, the, in this yoga room than doing something that doesn't use all of your muscles and, and joints in, that, in their full range of motion.